Hi everyone, this is Ross at Teacher Toolkit. This is idea number eight in a series of 30 videos I'm sharing to support teachers through um, the examination season. Um, this idea is very simple. It kind of looks back to research um, over 80 years from uh, Thurston, 1927 or 28 off the top of my head, about comparative assessment or comparative judgment. Now, there is, is lots of uh, noise or research being published recently uh, about its benefits and I'm, I'm all for that but um, how could you translate that into your classroom uh, immediately from watching this video um, and that's affordable well it's very simple um, we think of how we moderate kids coursework um, you could do that very simply in your classroom tomorrow the best way to do it is if, um, if you've got another colleague in your school that's teaching another class the exact same material a very simple fix swap over all the student work, anonymize it, photocopy them, whatever you need to do, and then give it to the kids and allow them to rank it out in order and have a quick discussion. Research shows, and, and this is also good to reduce teacher workload, um, is that you'll be able to make a decision within a matter of seconds, and then where there are any conflicts of interest or discrepancies, that's where the assessment can be unpicked. Once you've got all the students' work out in the line, and students can do this as well as yourself, um, you can then get down into the details of actually marking. Uh, this is a really good way to um, rank work for students to self and peer assess without any risk and um, without any kind of public um, stress with their name on a piece of work. Um, so try it out tomorrow. There's a blog on teachertoolkit.co.uk called Comparative Assessment, Comparative Judgment. Um, have a look. Uh, I'll reply to the video if you've got any questions uh, and give it a go. Um, some teachers that might not have another class to share ideas with, you might want to look at a scheme of work from a year gone by um, where you had an old um, example of work from a class that did the project the year before. Um, that's another alternative. So I hope it helps and thanks for watching.